Hi everyone, it's time for this week's edition of the Roar Report. We're looking at the week of April the 8th through the 12th, and we have a few really big things happening in the building, so I hope you're paying attention. Um, on Monday, April the 8th, we start state testing in our language arts classes, so students, whether you're in 7th grade or 8th grade, whoever your language arts teacher is, you are going to be taking your state test. It's really important to put out your very best effort on this because these scores do matter. Um, this is a reflection of what you've learned and what your teachers have taught. Everyone's put a lot of effort into this. Your parents, you, the staff, let's um, give them your best shot here. All right, other things happening in the building. We have grade checks happening. Um, this is the third week of the last trimester of the year. And as you guys know, every three weeks, we are in contact with families about your progress as a student. So at the three week grade check, all of your discovery teachers are going to be reviewing grades and anyone who has a failing grade, either a D or an F, um, your parents will be contacted by the end of next week to, um, you know, help you kind of get back on track. Just as a reminder, this is the three week mark in the trimester, which means anything from those first few days of the trimester is no longer eligible to be turned in for credit. So it's important to keep up on that so you don't get too far behind. Also, um, this is a shout out to Mrs. Barnett in our library. We have a readathon happening right now. We have several students already signed up and you know it would be a great goal to get every student in the building signed up if kids could bring in just five bucks for that you will start to see a huge change in that library. We're trying to get it ready um, to make a major transition over the next year or two. And so your help with that is really important. On Wednesday, April the 10th, our eighth graders who are going to Washington DC in New York are going to be having an informational luncheon in the library with Mrs. Barnett. So we will make an all call for that to remind you, but Wednesday the 10th, you travelers need to keep that in mind that you're going to be visiting Mrs. Barnett in the library. And on Friday, April the 12th, we have our first and only home track me of the year. This is going to be huge. Um, I'm encouraging staff right now and parents, if you're listening, to sign up to help us with the track me. If you would like to help, just contact Mr. Dixon and we can get you signed up. Um, we definitely still have openings. Um, we want this track meet to run really smoothly and go quickly. Um, the more um, people we have helping, the better that goes. And now, I think this is the first time this year that we've had a guest speaker on a Roar Report, but I have a special guest here with me today hiding off screen, and now she's coming in. Come on in. Come on in. We have a visitor here. All right. This is fun. <laughs> this is fun. All right, everyone. I don't know um, if you folks know, but this is Mylise Abrogwa. She is a senior at Tillamook High School. Um, welcome, Mylise. Thank you. Do you have any... Um, Family members or connections to the junior high? I believe I do. Yeah. In seventh grade, my younger sister, Marilyn. Marilyn, that troublemaker, <laughs> Marilyn. Yes. And do you have maybe a mom who works at the junior high? I also do. Mrs. Yeah. Abrogla or Carol Abrogla. Carol, who works at the Family Resource Center. So we have some deep connections <laughs> here with my lease. Anyway, my lease is working on her senior project. Um, students, if you're not sure what that is, when you get to Tillamook High School before you can graduate, and grab that diploma and head on out, um, you too will be doing a senior project and that's um, a time that's committed to putting forth, um, you know, good work into our community. And my lease is here to tell us a little bit about what she's doing and how we're hoping that you can help next week. So my lease, next week, what are we planning here? Right now, next week, we are planning a little pop can drive. What will happen is that it will be 7th versus 8th grade, and you will bring your pop cans before school into the lion's den, and there will be different sections for each class. So if I'm a 7th grader and I really want to win, I'm going to bring in my pop cans, and I'm going to take them down to the lion's den and put them in the 7th grade section, obviously, because yes. I'm really wanting to beat those 8th graders. If I'm an 8th grader, I'm going to bring them in and put them in the 8th grade section. So if we're bringing in the pop cans, what are we doing with the pop cans after that what's that being used for the pop cans will be deposited by me post all the collection stuff. post all the collections okay. yes and the money with the pop cans will be going towards a group called tides of change that's in town and they help with families and moving them to new homes after they face kind of rough situations in their life 
And so the money will be used to make gift baskets, which is a bunch of cleaning supplies for them, for their house to make it more homely for them. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. So I know actually that we have um, a lot of people here who have experienced having to pick up and move sometimes. And it would be really nice when you got to that new place to have something welcoming for you. So all of the money that um, we collect from those pop cans will be used to make these wonderful welcome baskets to people. Um, I hope that you are willing to share some of your pop cans before you bring anything from home, please make sure that that is okay with mom and dad. Um, staff members, if you collect pop, pan, pop cans or anything like that, we would love to have you bring them in too. I know I've, um, my Lisa and I have been working on this for a little while, so I've been making a bag in my own garage. Um, I'm trying to figure out if it's seventh or eighth grade I'm gonna donate to. Maybe a little bit of both. Hmm, it depends on. Maybe it depends on how I'm feeling that day. All right. <laughs> All right, everyone. Um, thank you so much. Bring in those pop cans. It is a great day to be a lion and a cheesemaker. Yes. <laughs>